Hey there everyone, I wanted to show you a quick video. Uh, I'm just getting into fabrication right now. I ordered a welder and uh, started setting up my garage to be able to work with uh, steel and aluminum a little bit more. And uh, one of the questions I had was uh, cutting metal. Uh, basically there's a couple approaches. You can use a bandsaw, you can use a grinder, you can use a basic hacksaw or, or a sawzall. Uh, you can also use a miter saw. Uh, so I saw a couple things out there. You can get actually get miter saws that are built for metal. But I imagine a lot of guys, they started out with wood, did some carpentry, now they've got a wood miter saw sitting around. So I wanted to show everyone that you can use your Ryobi miter saw to cut metal and it'll work just fine. What I've got on here is a 12 inch grinding wheel. You can pick these up at Home Depot or Harbor Freight or, or, or wherever. Um, I'm going to show you the arbor up close here in a second, but I'm going to first show you how it cuts and then I'm going to uh, show you how to set it up. One thing to note is once you get it set up with the arbor that I have, your laser is going to be a little bit off to the, to the left. So, and I haven't been able to adjust it far enough, I don't want to break the laser, so because of the arbor, it offsets the blade just a little bit. When you're making your cuts, you have to account for that. So, I'll go ahead and get started. So as you can see there, it cuts, uh, cuts pretty well. One thing to keep in mind is make sure you, you have is a good clamp. Uh, you're gonna be limited in how, <clears throat> how small a piece you can actually clamp because of uh, how, where you can actually, uh, where it actually sits at. So you'll be limited in how small you can go, but for the really small stuff, you can use your angle grinder. So um, I just use a C clamp here. You can also use the built-in clamp that's right here. Uh, Big thing uh, to pay attention to is how quickly your motor spins. I believe I read on this one it was something in the order of 4100 or 3800 RPM. So most of your uh, metal cutting saw blades are only rated to about 3500 RPM. So uh, while the grinding blades are rated up to 5000 RPM. So you can use your grinding blade on here, but be careful and check before you get a metal cutting blade, the carbide blades. Um, you see these for like 70 bucks and they make really nice cuts but they, uh, they just cost more and they're not rated for the higher speed that the Ryobi spins at. Okay, I've got you zoomed in here on my arbor. Uh, this is, remember this uh, arbor is threaded backwards so it doesn't, uh, hopefully doesn't unspin itself. I have had this arbor unspin itself once so far with this grinder blade mounted up. Uh, I don't know if that was due to vibration or if there was excessive torque. Uh, I usually take it pretty easy when I'm cutting to not put excessive torque on the on the arbor here so you can go ahead and back it off now here's where uh, I wanted to bring up because I had a little bit of a puzzle so typical grinder wheels come with a 20 millimeter arbor uh, that 20 millimeter arbor won't fit your typical uh, miter saw because the miter saw the arbor that it comes up stuck on the miter saw is one inch so it's just too small for the it's just too small for the arbor saw to or the arbor from the miter saw to fit through the uh, 20 millimeter grinding blade. So what you do is uh, down there at your local uh, Harbor Freight or your hardware store, you're gonna see a little spacer like this. Now this is meant to step uh, from a 20 millimeter down to a 5 8 The center post on your Ryobi saw is actually 5 8 So you can place your, your little adapter here on there. Then you can take your grinder blade Slide it on there, make sure it gets centered all the, uh, sits in there nice and flat and square. Then you can take your arbor and set it in. And I put this side in first uh, to pinch against the, my, my grinding blade. So you kind of have to hold the, the grind blade in place. You're going to feel and make sure that there's no back and forth motion. So you, you don't want any kind of play back and forth because that's going to result in an imbalance once it's spinning at 5,000 RPM then you're gonna uh, thread it in backwards, of course, opposite to what I did before. Once you screw it all the way in, now you can tighten it up. I suppose I could have finger tightened that a little bit more.
So this is a pretty big bolt, so don't strip it out, but make sure it's plenty tight. You need to be able to grip that. Again, you're gonna be playing, move it back and forth, make sure it doesn't uh, give in either direction. So once you've got it tightened up, first thing you're gonna do is test it out, make sure it works. You got it plugged in, safety glasses on, eye protection on. So your real danger area on this when you first put it on to make sure it's well balanced is uh, obviously right in the uh, rotation of the blade. So when you first start it, don't stand right in front of it in case the blade does like to fall apart or something's imbalanced and it throws the whole grinder wheel to pieces. Stand off to the side, you can bring it down and then you can go ahead and get it started and see how, well, how much it vibrates. So that's pretty well balanced. Uh, when I did have it running there, I can, can, can see a little bit of wobble back and forth as it's not perfectly concentric. Uh, that should go away over time as you start to grind. Uh, over time, it should become more and more concentric as you grind the high spots and the low spots are not, don't feel as much pressure as it rotates around and cuts the metal. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, I hate it when people think you have to have all the right perfect made tools for the job. Um, I do agree the right tool for the right job makes it easier and often makes a better project. But if this is the, if the thing that's keeping you from starting your project is going out buying a specific miter saw for cutting metal, this will work just fine. Go down and get your, get your, uh, your $7 grinding blade from your hardware store, throw it on your Ryobi, get that little arbor spacer I talked about, and go to town. Make something cool and get the time uh, working with the metal. As you get more experience and you have more of a demand, then you can go ahead and... Um, Get the get the more expensive stuff at least that's my approach and it seems to work pretty well let me know in the comments if you have any questions this is a pretty low budget pretty easy video so uh, don't hit me too hard for audio quality and editing i'm just trying to get information out to you guys